Yes, I have books holding up my TV. Don't judge me. So I want to show you guys um, how I store my stuff right now because this is going to change. Shoot, I want to show you guys how I store stuff for now. This is the most economical way I could actually store my stuff without spending one, a ton of money, and two, quick and easy to access. So if you guys have seen my palette declutter, I will leave that linked right here in the iCard. If you've seen that, you will have seen this organization before. So I have set everything up differently because I have got a couple more things to store my makeup in. I do have quite a bit less stuff in this, but it is still overflowing. And it's just, it's not conventional. It's easy for, you know, somebody that's not willing to spend more than $10 on something to store their makeup in. I'm gonna start my clutter from this. So I'm gonna do bronzers. Bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. So some of it is in this drawer, some of it is on the cube organizer behind me, and some of it is also on a makeup organizer behind me. As you can see, this is, all of this actually is highlighters. <laughs> I do have um, mini highlighters. This is my brush organizer, and I do have some minis in here, and this little Thing right here. I got this acrylic organizer for $15 from Walmart and this thing holds a lot of brushes. Um, I will leave my brush declutter up in the corner as well. So these are some of my minis. Um, I have a tart, a tart lip br blush in the shade Party. It's more like party! <laughs> and then I have a bronzer here. This is a Heart bronzer. This is the Amazonian Clay Park Ave Princess. And then I have two, actually, yeah, I have two of these Too Faced um, ch Milk Chocolate. Oh no, these are both Chocolate Soleil. Um, I don't know why this one's bigger, it just comes with a mirror. And then this little guy, which actually, when I reach for my Chocolate Soleil, which is very often, I usually try to reach for these because I'm trying to use these up because I have, you'll see. I have more chocolate so lazy. So this is a blush. This is my favorite Tarte blush. Or er, no. So this is a highlighter. And this is a Tarte highlighter. I have a lot of minis in Tarte. Anyway, this is the exposed highlighter. I have another one in here. Another mini. This shade is my favorite. And this thing smells so good. So I'm just going to go through these um, semi-quickly. Because... Some of these I have used, some of these I haven't. I have this Artist Couture highlighter, and this is in the shade Purple Dream. I just got this in a BoxyCharm, so I am going to keep this because I really like this. I'm probably not going to get very rid of very many things here, so just bear with me. Next, we have this e.l.f. highlighter, and this is a baked highlighter in the shade... I have no idea. I have literally just swatched this. And it looks really pretty. You're probably not able to see that. But, like, I just don't see myself using a pink highlighter. Like, this is... Like, I have pink highlighters that I really enjoy. And I usually use stuff like this for, like, inner corner highlights. But I really just don't need this. So, I am going to declutter that. As you can see, this is another exposed highlight. And this is pretty dipped into as well. This is just my favorite highlighter by Tarte. This is the other one I was telling you about. This is in the shade Stunna, Stunner. This one is so pretty too, but I don't know. It just doesn't give the same effect as the other one does. This is a Melt Cosmetics highlighter, and I'm not getting rid of this for one reason and one reason alone. Look how beautiful that is. And secondly, the issue is, is this is in the shade Morning Star, and I have never, ever, ever heard anybody talk about this I don't see this anymore I just don't know I bought it second hand but it was still brand new from somebody I don't know where to get this I don't know where the shade is so I'm keeping it I've got an Ofra highlighter you're about to see a ton of these this one is in the shade Beverly Hills these ones have not been played with nearly as much as um, this one right here this one is my Ofra X Nikki Tutorials 
uh, Everglow highlighter. And you guys know I do a lot of Ofra unboxing, mystery unboxing boxes. So I really like Ofra and I really love their highlighters. That is my favorite thing in the world from them. Like this one is really beat up and really loved because I just love these two shades. And then I like this one for like a bronzy look. And then this one has like a bronzy shade in it as well. And it has five different shades. I love them because they all look so similar. But yet so different. I have this Wet n Wild. This is the very first one that they came out with. The Mega Glow one. The loose one. This thing, let me tell you. I was obsessed with it. This was from the Gothographic collection. But I don't like it as much as I used to. Because I didn't realize how much glitter was in it. I'm not a big glitter highlight person. But this is still really pretty. Um, I really recommend Wet n Wild highlighters if you're looking for a cheap, blinding, affordable highlight. Next we have the Anastasia Amrizi. This is such a beautiful highlighter for so many skin tones. It's crazy. I have never seen such a universal highlighter for so many skin tones. And it still looks brand new, but I use it all the time. So this is from Mirabella, and this is a mineral highlight powder and swirling pearl okay so if you look at that this highlighter looks absolutely stunning and like you swatch it and it's so pretty like look at that it looks like it's gonna give you that perfect like wet sheen and i don't understand but like when you use a brush to pick it up it doesn't do shit i want to use this I want to love this, but it's hard because I can't get shit off of it, <laughs> you know? I don't know, for now I think I'm going to keep it. I really don't think I'm going to get rid of much, you guys, I'm sorry. So these are my Wet n Wild highlighters, and they're all the um, Mega Glow highlighting powders. So I've got Precious Petals, White Raven, Blossom Glow, and Botanic Dreams. I wasn't going to get these two because I was like, those are too pink and those are too purple. Like this one's very purpley. Like this one is so pink and this one is Blossom Glow. But you can see that I have used the ever living crap out of this one. And then this one's like so pretty for my skin tone. It's like a goldy shift. But it's not like a pale gold. And then this one, this one's like a duochrome iridescent kind of thing. This was also out of the Gothographic collection. This one, it's pretty and I really like that it's limited edition. But I just don't use this one. I'm just, I don't know, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so there's four more highlighters over here. And I know I'm not getting rid of any of these because two of them I haven't even got to use. So this one is All of the Lights by Ofra another one that has multiple colors in it I used to hate this I used to hate the ones that had multiple colors but I actually really like it because like the shade is too light for me and the shades too dark but if I mix them all together they end up looking beautiful on my skin and then this one is the star island which is one of my absolute favorite shades look at that I barely run my finger through it this is the Nikki Tutorials collab, and this one is in Space Baby. This is the duochrome blue one. As you can see, it has a blue shift here. I'm not getting rid of that, because like I said, I haven't got to use it. This one's Cloud Nine. This is the pink shift. They're just so soft to the touch. It's like insane. And as you can see, that one right here, it's got like a light, light pink shift. Okay, so I'm going to grab a makeup wipe and we're going to go up top to talk about the rest of the bronzers and blushes and highlighter palettes. So you're going to see my monitor for a minute. Um, it's just going to be so I can show you guys. So these are all my palettes. I'm going to go through those. But I just wanted to show you the organizer I have most of my, my highlighters in. So as you can see, 
up here this is basically all liquid highlighters and liquid eyeshadows I'm gonna go ahead and start with what's in here so I have this Tarte blush and this is in the shade Dazzled as you can see though I haven't used this one a whole lot so it's a little dark um, I am gonna keep that for now I think I want to depot some of these and then I have this Master Highlight by Maybelline. So this is a blush slash highlight. I don't really care for the highlightiness of it. I've had this forever. So honestly, I think what I'm, I'm going to get rid of this as well. This is a Note Cosmetics blush. I got this in a BoxyCharm. I really usually like BoxyCharm products. So this was one of them. And it's like a corally orangey blush which I absolutely love so I am gonna keep this this is also in the shade desert rose I have this Laura Geller blush here in the shade this is tropic hues so this is like a big blush and it actually is a really beautiful shade I don't know if you guys will be able to see that right here in the middle it's really pretty especially for my pale skin and then I have another Tarte blush, which, if you can't tell, I really enjoy Tarte blushes. So this is in the shade Feisty, and I think this one is by far my favorite. I really like the other little one I have, Party. This shade is just beautiful. They're so pigmented. Alright, I'm going to quickly go through these, which is my liquid products. I don't use these very often. This is Dandelion do by benefit i just keep this honestly because i like it for days when i'm trying to be more natural looking this is a barfly highlighter in the shade candlelit i don't even think i've used this it's very pretty i think i'm gonna get rid of this because <laughs> i don't see myself using that i just truly don't so this is a becca shimmering skin perfector highlighter whatever this is in prosecco pop and this shade is so pretty but i hardly ever use this for the simple fact that it's too dark for my super pale skin tone i think it's time to finally part with this i've used it once i could give it to somebody that gets way more use out of it than i do all right let's do the top really quick so this is a this is a makeup revolution highlighter. This is a liquid highlighter. So this is in the shade Starlight. I actually have two, and then I have the shade Unicorn Elixir. So this one is Unicorn Elixir. You can see it's like a duochrome shift to like a pinky color, and then this one is Starlight, which is like a metallic chrome light baby pink shade. I have this Cover FX one. This is the Glitter Drops. And this is in the shade Lunar. I mean, you guys. So I'll just use this for my eyes when I like want a glittery pop on the eyes. Again, a beautiful shade, but I don't ever use this. So I think I'm gonna part with this as well. So I have the NARS Orgasm Blush. Um, I'm going to keep it. I actually like this. I don't think it's the greatest blush. I don't see the super big hype about it, but I do enjoy it, so I am going to keep it. And then I have a pretty vulgar blush. This is in the shade Make Them Blush. This is so intense, you guys. I got this in a boxy charm, but I really like it. You just have to take a super, super, like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, I literally take my brush and I'll go just dap it in there real quick. And it gives me full on pigmentation. So, keeping. I have a pretty vulgar bronzer, and this is in a shade Bronze B. Got this in a boxy charm as well. I actually really like this bronzer, but it's really pigmented too, so I just do the same thing. Honestly, I just tap my brush in all of my bronzers because I'm fair skinned, so I don't like to have a super bronzy face so I just literally just tap it in there this would last me a lifetime like I don't need as many bronzers as I have so this is the Too Faced Papadon Peach I got this because everybody raved about it 
it smells so good and as you can see I have shown this a lot of love it does have like slight bit of like highlight in it so that's the only thing I would change about it I don't really care for highlighty blushes oh, like blushes with shimmer in it it's just not my thing I prefer regular just normal matte blushes but some days I do really like to have a shimmery blush those are the days I'll reach for stuff like this or the NARS orgasm okay so moving on to up here this is a actually an NYC bronzer I have had this for years See, if you are looking for a super affordable bronzer this is so good like I don't care what anybody says you can tell that I love the ever living crap out of this I used to use bronzer as like blush I'm gonna actually probably get rid of this and purchase a new one because this thing's pretty old so I have two two faced this one is actually the chocolate soleil I have used the chocolate soleil for the last like four years three years whatever and like you guys seen I had minis this thing looks like it's barely touched and I have used the crap out of it this will last you a lifetime especially if you're light-handed like me and then this one is in their newer packaging and this is the milk chocolate which is supposed to be more for fair skin tones and I wanted to try it because I really enjoy my chocolate soleil but now I feel like now that I have this the chocolate soleil is more like a bronzer because I use these for contouring because they're just so good and I really think that they suit my skin tone very well I highly suggest you get one if you have fair skin like me and they smell delicious Okay, so I have an Ofra blush. This is in the shade Bellini. If you guys watch my videos and have been here before, you have would have seen the video of me unboxing this. I already got this in my last mystery unboxing by Ofra, and I actually went to go purchase this on Ulta when they had their 21 Days of Beauty sale, and I decided not to buy it, and like, I swear, that's Ofra knowing that I wanted this. If you guys ever see those Ofra mystery boxes, get them. Get them. I paid $59 for $250 worth of stuff. I will try to leave that iCard up here. And if not, I will leave it down in the description box. So I don't own a lot of MAC products, but I do have this. But this is the Patrick Star, um, X, or the MAC X Patrick Star um, blush, bronzer. I don't know. I don't really like this that much only because okay so I don't really care for products that are like this that are two products in one because I have to do like weird stuff to try to get my brush just on the blush or just on this on the bronzer and I mean the bronzer is just not my cup of tea and then using a big fluffy brush to put my blush on it's hard to get my brush just in to this so as you can see I've used it but it's barely used. I'm on the fence about getting rid of this. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it for just a little bit longer and if I don't reach for it in the next few months I'll probably get rid of it. So this product right here, but I don't really rave about stuff like this. I don't really rave about bronzers but let me tell you this is actually in one of the darker shades that they have. This is tan lines this is the Lorac tantalizer bronzer like I said this is in the shade tan lines and this is one of this is either the darkest shade or the second to darkest shade and it looks so pretty on me but this is seriously so good it's, it's so blendable it's buttery these are great but I absolutely hands down this is my favorite bronzer ever it used to be the Tarte one the Park Cap Pr Princess but this just takes the cake and i've got this i think this came in a boxy charm it is a it's a loose blush i'm not a fan of loose blushes because i don't have control i don't have control how much my brush picks up i feel like i'm wasting a ton of product if i sit and tap it off it's just it's kind of a pain in the ass really so like i don't know this is a luminous luminous loose blush and it is by the brand Studio Makeup. 
I've had this for a while now and I don't, I've literally used this twice and I've probably had it for, I think this came in one of my very first boxy charms, and I think I started getting boxy charm in 2017 and it's just a dark shade. It's pretty, but it would look way better on a darker skin tone. I'm so sorry that this is not in focus. It just will not stay in focus. I am probably just going to go ahead and declutter this too. You guys have probably seen some of these. If you have seen my palette declutter, I don't think I've picked up very many more. But as you can see, this is the Shade and Light by Kat Von D. This is actually the cream contour. I have an issue with cream contouring. The Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour palette for light skin is too gray on me. Looks horrible. I have the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. I don't dislike it, but the colors just aren't right. So I wanted something that was right in the middle of warm tone and cool tone. And actually the shade is like damn near perfect for me. That is the shade Spice because cream contour palettes I don't buy a lot of. I'm not going to buy a lot of, I just want one that works for me, and this is it. So I'm actually really happy that I bought this. I don't really support Kat Von D. I don't really buy her products anymore, but it works for me. So this is the Naked Skin palette. Um, this I missed in my last palette declutter video. Because I actually really, really love the powder side, but I really like that they did this. And I got this for like 25 bucks. I love that they did this so you have your powders over here and your creams over here but I, I don't like it like this is just so cool toned it looks like I'm literally rubbing crap on my skin like that just it just doesn't look good it doesn't blend well not a big fun and then this side is the powder side and I actually enjoy every single shade on this side perfect color for a contour. Great bronzer, a little deep for me for a light skin tone, but like I said, just use an extremely light hand and you can work it. And then this highlighter shade, it's like the most perfect subtle highlight in the world. I don't know how to explain it. I really enjoy Urban Decay's highlighters for like subtlety. I pick this up a lot. I've heard people say they don't like it. I don't know why, because I really, really enjoy it. Let's talk about this pure palette. So this is a highlight and a contour palette. I've literally kept this for backup. I even said it in my last video. I actually think I'm going to part with this because I don't use it. The highlighter shades are absolutely gorgeous. You can't even see that, but there you go. I just don't want to keep the whole palette for a highlighter when I actually have another pure highlighter palette that I keep just for the highlighter in this. But these shades are just way too dark for my skin tone. So there is my Anastasia Glow or Contour Kit. As you can see, this shade is absolutely beat to filth. This is my like absolutely favorite contour shade. I wouldn't purchase this again. And the only reason I say this is because I literally, literally use one shade. I'll use this and then I'll pull out a different bronzer. And I know they do the refills, but I I mean, it's this is seriously like my favorite contour shade in the world, but if you're looking for a good contour palette and you use all of this kind of stuff in a subtle highlight, a bronzer shade, you know, um, a good summery bronzer shade, a contour shade, highlighting shades, this is a great palette. This would be the one I would recommend. Um, a lot of big YouTubers really enjoy it too. It's just not something I reach for anymore. I actually have stopped buying contour palettes because I feel like it's such a waste of money when I could just buy one contour shade that I really like instead of buying a whole palette that I'm only going to use one shade from. You know what I'm saying? I am going to keep that though. So this is a Makeup Revolution. If you've seen my palette declutter, you've seen this. This is uh, the Ultra Blush Palette in Hot Spice. I really, really like it. Once again, I'm going to keep it. I like that there's so many different shades in here. You've got like these like shimmery shades that you can actually double as a highlighter shade. If you want like a pink highlighter. This is, like I said, Hot Spice, so it's more of like the corally ones. You've got this pink 
and some corals and then some darker corals over here this like really orangey one um they have like little shimmers in them but actually it doesn't show very much and it's really nice these are just really nice palettes and this will literally last you forever you get a wide variety of colors and you get eight shades for like 10 bucks if you are on a budget and you want to have variety get this this is by ivy beauty um i have tried two things from this brand and i absolutely love it i literally am in love with this brand from two products okay so this is a cheek to cheek palette it is just two blushes as you can see it's like a i would say this one's more rosy and this one's like a pink plushy color they're both really pigmented and really soft and just beautiful their eyeshadows from this brand y'all bomb.com if you've not tried anything from this brand get your hands on it we've got an olimar cosmetics blush trio um this one is for the light to medium skin tones i don't know how i feel about this shit i've literally used one color the shimmer man like the shimmers got to go people stop doing shimmer and blushes okay it'd be different if you did one but like that's like a highlight shade that won't work for my skin tone i actually just really like this palette i just wish these shades weren't shimmery but i'm probably gonna end up decluttering this this is gonna be one of those items that i look at one day and i'm just like why do i still have this so this is that pure palette i was talking about this came in a boxy charm boxy charm is the way to go y'all if you guys do not have boxy charm click down below or go check my description box out and go check it out click the link but if you don't have boxy charm this is like the best way to build your collection so I only keep this palette for one reason and one reason alone and it is clearly this shade right here. I don't know if this is supposed to be a blush and this is supposed to be like a bronzer but I don't know anybody that uses this a bronzer that's so shimmery like that is holy shit. But I'll tell you what this highlighter in here is so beautiful. I am not that type of person to keep a palette for one thing one shade but i am gonna keep this it's only three shades it'd be different if it's like a whole ass palette but it's not y'all can't convince me to get rid of this i actually had another one that i gave away in a giveaway and when i see these for sale for cheap from people online i always want to buy it because I love this palette and i want everybody to experience it i use this for all of my inner corner highlights my brow bone highlights, especially on my colorful looks, because I reach for this over shimmers, I should, um, shimmery eyeshadows and other highlighter palettes. I have the um, Aurora, I don't know how to say it, by Anastasia, but I think this one beats the that one. Like some shades in that are, I think, are a little bit nicer, but like the color payoff in this. Those actually look like highlights. These actually look like shimmers because it's like true to the color in the palette. Like, the, you know what I mean? This is actually a straight on blue highlight or a straight on purple highlight and they're blinding. Like, what you see is what you get in this palette. Like with this one, this is supposed to be like a green shade and this is supposed to be, I think, I'm not even sure what that shade is, but you know, um, I don't, I don't know. I'm just not... The biggest fan of this palette i don't feel like a lot of these shades work for me but like if you look at it it's more of actual highlighter like that's like a duochrome highlighter from orange to pink this blue like it's pretty and i'm gonna keep them both because i really like both of them but i just feel like especially for inner corner highlights and stuff like this just it's my go-to it's so pretty like these yeah i'd absolutely use this more so as a highlight than i would a inner corner highlight i mean shit that shit's gorgeous and then there's the platinum ice by jeffree star which i don't know i have a love-hate relationship with this palette it is another colorful palette i really stopped buying highlighter palettes that are colorful especially after this one because I was kind of disappointed. Ice Cold is the only one that is like blinding in this palette. The rest of them are just like mediocre. I really wanted to try Jeffree Star highlighter, um, especially the Ice Cold one. 
I do enjoy these. I don't reach for this super often because, I mean, they're just not realistic. Everyday highlighters. Um, the ice gold ended up being a little too light on my skin tone, but I do thoroughly enjoy it. This is a great palette. So I have Afterglow by Urban Decay. I've heard so many th bad things about this palette and dead ass, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just genuinely don't know why. These two shades I could have lived without really like this is too dark and this one I just don't like super pink highlighter shades but these two Urban Decay's highlighters just look wet to me on the skin. Like look at those. Those are pretty as hell especially this one for my skin. Oh my god. Like yeah I didn't really need a whole ass palette for that but like they're just they're pretty they look wet they blend in so well like they're those ideal highlighters to me they are they just blend so well on the skin and just look so beautiful and i'm really glad i got it okay so the last two i have um actually this is the miss rose glow kit and this is anastasia i got this in a pr package from be forever glammed um, my link is down in the description box if you decide you want to check out that brand. This one broke. I mean, I'm not mad about it because I don't really care for that color. It's too dark. But it's, seriously, this yellow princess one. Ooh, peach fizz, pretty, smoking whistles. They're all really pretty for being like a dupe. I mean, this is like a straight knockoff, not a dupe, but. They're all really, really pretty. I really like this one and this one. I pretty much like all the shades in here but that bronzy one. So, like, that it broke. I'm not that mad about it. But I used this for the first time in, like, my New Year's Eve glam video. And I, like, almost shit my pants. Because I was like, damn. Okay, so, and then I have this one. This is the actual glow kit from Anastasia. You can see that this is kind of, like, a mess. But I don't know why I ever really got this, and honestly, I think I'm going to declutter this one. I think this may be the only highlight palette that I actually declutter because these have, like, a glittery effect to it, and I don't really care for that. Like, these are pretty on the skin, don't get me wrong, but the issue is I can only wear, like, two of these shades. I might be able to get away with that one. But I can literally wear that one and that one. It's kind of depressing. Because these are really pretty. And I wish I could get away with wearing more of these. But this one's actually really light. And this one, it's okay. But, I don't know. I just don't really use this anymore. So, I think I am going to go ahead and declutter that one. So, anyways guys, I've got some cleaning up to do. Just know that once we maybe get through all these declutters and once I finally get through um, organizing everything, I will do a palette or a beauty room tour. I'm trying to get through these declutters because I want to get rid of stuff and make room for new because this is just a mess. And I really appreciate everybody watching my videos and all the love and support. Thank you to all of the new subscribers recently. You guys are awesome. Like, we gained quite a bit of subs from the last two videos. So, thank you and welcome. I love each and every one of you guys. I love that you guys have been here to support me. Also, I do want to mention, guys, I finally got a P.O. box. So, if you guys are interested in sending me some subscriber mail and showing some love, you guys can find the uh, address for that down below. And I really hope you guys like these declutter videos. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know that you guys are enjoying these and let me know what I should do next. I think I'm getting down to like the nitty gritty. So let me know if you guys want to see like an all over kind of declutter de organization video because I think that's going to be the final thing I do. Anyways guys, I love you and thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!